Hey guys, what's up? I'm Crazyak, and welcome back to Ether One. It's been a while since I picked up this game, so I apologize in advance if I seem to forget things that were in the last episode that you guys probably only saw a couple days ago. So, I apologize if I seem unusually stupid. If I remember correctly, this is where I have to go next. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Oh. Okay. I'm not usually a fan of going into doors that are randomly open for me. Uh, ah! well, this doesn't look good. I have a camera. Can I, can I use that? I can. Okay. Okay, so maybe that's out. I don't know. Let's go this way. Okay. This is a little bit creepy. I feel like we're getting into the portion of the mind. This actually reminded me a little bit of Dream in the Nightmare sequence. I feel like we're getting into the portion of the mind that's a little bit, uh, not contaminated, but a little bit ill, maybe, is a good word to use for it. Because our, if we remember correctly, our patient is, uh, she has some kind of mental issue. She's, you know, schizophrenic or, uh, has Alzheimer's or dementia or something like that. And she, ha she has some issues in her mind and we're trying to work our way through and discover them. But, man, this stuff doesn't focus properly. Take another picture. Oh, okay, that, that's interesting. Ah, I still can't see stuff up close. What, what is that sound? I'm pretty sure I don't have any weapons in this game. What, is there no, wasn't there a run in this game? I feel like there was a run in this game. Okay, so let's take a picture in here. Badoop. Nope, nothing there. Over here, maybe? Whoa! Sorry! So maybe right now, I can't, whoop. Sorry. Okay, so I can't actually pick anything up. All I can do is take pictures right now, as far as I can tell. He does he do anything now? Okay, so this, this is kind of interesting. This is a, a different kind of uh, scheme than what we're used to before when I had to pick up items and various things like that. So let's see, take a picture of that. Nope. This is a little bit different, which is nice because I haven't picked up the old game for a while, so it's nice that it's throwing something new at me. Whoa! Happy birthday to me! Thank you guys, you actually remembered! No, I'm just kidding, it's not my birthday. It's not my birthday for a while yet. Anything on this side of this room? No, okay, so I guess what... Let's see, after I take the picture, the stuff disappears. But I can't do anything with it. So am I just supposed to uncover the corners of the memories and move on? Sure, let's go with that. Ooh, another cake! Cakey! Mm -hmm. Stove, maybe? Nope. I think I'm just supposed to uncover all the memories. Okay, so I think I've explored every corner of this now. Maybe I should get out of here. Whoa! What do you want from me? I thought I heard something. You guys heard it too, right? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna get locked up like the Joker in Arkham Asylum. Okay, let's leave and go back and see what happens. So, how how was it in there? I can see from the evidence you gathered that the memory showed strong emotional readings that point to a pleasant memory. Then again, even happy memories can be locked away for good reason sometimes. There are at least two areas close by that hold memory fragments. These should lead us to more core memories, and hopefully the artifact. Okay. From my notes, it seems that you'll need to follow the river further up the valley, and see what we can access there. That was the plan. We best get to move on. Okay, do I want to go to Devlin or Harbor? Uh, I think I want to go to Harbor. Yeah, I think that's where I want to go. Go back out. Okay. Okay, so there is a run. I wasn't crazy. There is a run. Also, I apologize in advance. I mentioned a couple episodes ago that I was trying to fix a glitch where there was the lag on the screen, and I realized it was caused mostly by water. I can't actually seem to fix it, so I apologize. Let's explore, shall we? Okay. 
So I apologize in advance because there will probably be more lag as I see more places with water in them. So hopefully you guys can tolerate that a little bit and not, you know, throw tomatoes at me or something like that. Okay, so what's this? What have we got here? Oh. In today's workshop, we were asked to paint using a personal life experience as inspiration. I struggled to think of anything at first as I wanted to think about my time in America, but my thoughts kept coming back to Pinwheel. Eventually, I gave up and decided to draw upon an event that happened here in the 1960s, something that was traumatic for me and for the rest of the village. The mines from memory were dark and claustrophobic, and the men trapped down there helpless as the water came through the cavern wall. I wish I could remember all of their names, and I hope that today's painting did them all justice. My teacher said it was very good, but a little too dark for her. Alrighty. Anything else up here? It's kind of funny that there's just a journal just sitting out in the middle of nowhere, because that's where I leave my journal. I mean, I don't have a journal. I'm too manly to have a journal. Ah! Okay. Up we go a little further into the woods. Hmm. Nothing seems to be off on the side. Maybe I should stick to the path. That, that's usually what games want me to do. Then again, if I did what games want me to do, I wouldn't get to have as much fun when they glitch out for me doing the wrong thing. Can I jump over this? No. Okay, so clearly following the path was a very bad idea. Duh. Why would I think this game wants me to do something intuitive? From the very beginning, actually, this, this game seems to want to throw things at me that are not intuitive, wants me to uh, think a little outside the box, so... Oh, hello. Hello. Dr. Edmonds has asked me to write in here during my therapy sessions and not at home because I haven't been filling out my book when I'm on my own. I told her I did not want to do it anymore, but she insisted that I do because, when it, because it would help me remember things. I just want to paint and I don't want to write. Colors make it clearer. They make everything clearer for me. Today I'm going to paint and pick out, uh, paint the view from out this window, and then Dr. Edmund says Jim is going to come and pick me up from, pick me up and take me back to the care home. Thomas, I can read. It's not like I was reading the wrong line or anything like that. Okay. Clicky, can I can I open that? How do, I, I can't open that. That's not very nice. Okay, so I can't open the gate. But all the fences seem to be closed off everywhere else. Where? Where, oh, where am I supposed to go, game? So that's all closed off up there. And off of the side. Can I climb up here? Up! Nope, but I can see through it. Hello, inside Mr. Cave. Um, where else am I supposed to go? So there is this, but this doesn't seem to go anywhere. This just looks like a dead end to me. So probably not that. What else is there? Oh no, I'm gonna have to get near the water. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Is there anything near the water? Hello, water? Anything? Hmm. Okay, let's go across the water, maybe. Try not to look at it for you too used to long. Sail model boats down here. Yeah, yeah, yes you did. We we figured that out last episode. Okay, am I gonna have to climb up the river? Just keep following it? Is that maybe what I'm supposed to do? We'll just keep heading up here then. Doo -doo -doo. Water seems to be very tranquil in this part, but I do remember the model boats at the bottom was actually kind of a neat little thing. I recall that there was a little bit of lag during that part, so I apologize for that too. And now I'm going to stop apologizing because it just makes me sound like a sissy. Sorry about that. Okay, so what is next at the end of the river? Oh, what is this? Can I pick that up? No. Can I pick any of this up? No. Cannot pick any of the things up. So... Let's just keep heading up here. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Looks like the lag has stopped now. Okay, good. Uh, hello? Anyone in here? Oh. Pinwheel Industrial. Okay, that's our next world, I guess. Woohoo! We made it to the next world! But what is Pinwheel Industrial, you ask? I don't know, I reply. The area of the mine that you just entered seems to be outputting a variety of important memories. Fragment! Fragment! There I see it! There also seems to be a strong signal coming from within it that appears to be in line with what we'd expect from the artifact. The item we're after to make you stronger. Uh-huh. Which is what? With dementia, it's often the patient's Man. short-term memory that begins to falter first. We can use older memories as a seed to help rebuild and validate our patient's life story. The artifact should also help us to avoid another relapse, whilst allowing us to target the amyloid plaques that cause our patient's brain cells to die in the first place. 
Uh huh. So what about that? What do you want me to do? I'm no genius. I'm just a poor soul trying to make my way through this person's mind. But I didn't see any stairs in here. Did any of you see stairs in here? Because I didn't see any stairs in here. Hmm. <gasps> no naked flames! All flames must be clothed while they were in here. What is this? Can I open this? No. That's not a thing. Hmm. Because the fragment, if I remember correctly, I could see it from the entrance and it's just like up there somewhere. Hey, what is this? How did I not notice this before? Is that a window or... What is this? Do you do? Oh, nothing. Nothing for me! Why does this go down here if I can't use anything down here? Why? Why is there a red herring there? Okay, so I could see the fragment up here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you, fragment? There you are! Okay, so it's way up there. I see a set of stairs here. Let's try this. Up here... I wonder if I'm hand-painted too. That's an interesting thing to wonder. It's a very interesting thing to wonder. No, that's, those stairs don't really get me anywhere new. Where to go, game? I want to get that fragment. Oh well, I guess I just can't worry about that right now. We'll just move forward and maybe we'll end up coming back to it. So, Arsenic House. This seems like a place that if I encountered it in real life, I would not go in. Okay, so what is this? Lever, 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 valve. Okay, so... Is there some schematic as to how I'm supposed to do this? Okay, a projector. That's going to involve all these pressure things. Oh, a combination lock. Excellent. It's not 1885. Okay. What is this? Okay, here we go. One, one, three, two, two. Okay. Out we go. Ooh, 12 o'clock. Right on 12 o'clock. Okay, so it was... Uh, oh, no. Whoops. Whoop. Back. Okay, one, one, three, two, two. Spin! Did it do anything? It's not going to get any better. This isn't going to get any easier for anyone. Why are you so cryptic? It here that arsenic was a very useful byproduct of the tin refining process and is still used in many medicines and foods. The miners ground and burnt out any unwanted materials and then exported it for money. But in these quantities, it was extremely lethal. Accidents here were often fatal. Let's find out what happened here. Yes, let's. I didn't get a projector part for that? Really? Oh, come on. Okay, set grinder to five revolutions per hour for optimum export quality. Uh, okay, those are not grinders, I don't think. Whoa, what is going on there? Okay, so... Miner's Dry, Arsenic House... Let's try this one. Oh. Nope, those aren't things I can push. Okay, fine! Well, whatever, game! Okay, so there's one fragment. Well, I must say, I'd hoped this case would have been solved by now. Sorry. I know, I know, I should take some of the responsibility. Yeah, you should! But I have given you every resource imaginable to complete this restoration. Just remember that all of this funding is lost if you don't do your job effectively and find that artifact. Well, I'm sorry I took a little bit of time off, but you know what? I don't need that kind of attitude from you, Missy. What was your name? You're not Jean. You were Philippe or something like that. Okay, so today was bad. I didn't go to group because I had lost my house keys and I couldn't find them anywhere. I got so angry and frustrated that it emptied all my drawers and flipped over every cushion or pillow that I owned. I got a call from Dr. Edmonds. That's who it is. That's who's talking to us, is Dr. Edmonds. Later on in the day, and she was asking why I hadn't attended therapy in preparation for my next consultation. She sounded concerned on the phone, but I tried to let her know that I was fine and she had nothing to worry about. Sometimes it feels like a noise in my head, the confusion that is. Too many avenues to explore, some much darker than others. I got my pencils out so I could draw at home and relax, but I found many of them to be broken, so I used some charcoal to sketch out some ideas. It, I found it stopped me stressing out a lot. Afterwards, I found that my keys were upstairs in the bathroom cabinet for some reason. At least this means I can go to art group again next week. Well, that's good, I guess. That is good, I guess. Okay, so we already went up here and there wasn't anything. They're asking similar. if they're all silver. What do you think? Okay, so this is 3 out of 12. I saw that first one that was 10 out of 12. I think I'm going to have to ring them in a specific order once I find them all. Or maybe I'll only have to find a few of them to do them in the right order. Ooh, another fragment! Dibs! Seems that the patient is getting a little agitated. Not 
to worry, though. They always get worse before they get better. <laughs> With that said, I have been warned about, well, pushing these experiments too far. But I feel like I can trust you. You will keep this just between us. I heard a sound there while she was talking. I don't trust her. I don't trust her at all. I think she is not working on my side. I think she's doing something much different. Can I get up here? Okay. Well, anyway, I'm all out of time for this episode, so we will continue wandering through the mind of this poor lady and decrypting the mysteries of Dr. Edmonds as we continue on. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to check out more videos like this one or find the Ether One playlist, you can check out the description and channel link below. And until the next episode, guys, I'll see you later.